Welcome! How to print a document in SAP Printing a text file from your personal computer is an easy task. But printing a document in SAP is quite a different thing, as you're going to see in this video. Therefore, the procedure of viewing and printing a document in SAP will be demonstrated. By the end of the video, you know what the print preview of a document contains, what messages signify in printing context, and how messages are processed. Let's get going with the print preview. The print preview of an ordinary one-page text file shows the whole written and formatted text. And in printed form, it looks exactly like displayed on the screen. But let's look at the screen of a purchase order. This document is very similar to a purchase requisition, but needs to be given to a vendor. It's rather obvious that you can't print the document as displayed on the screen. On one hand, information is arranged in tab strips, and on the other hand, there are more data on the screen that the vendor needs. For example, your cost center. Therefore, selected data is assigned to a so-called form. You can see it here after clicking on the push button Print Preview in the application toolbar. This print layout may for sure disappoint you, but it's only a standard setting that needs to be customized. While you arrange and format the text in your personal text file directly, for documents in SAP, a separate form is necessary. This form contains the relevant data and the formatting of the text. After you know that the print preview displays a form with a subset of available data from the document, let's move on to messages. The output of a document is imperative for business processes with participants outside of the company. Only if the business partners get the corresponding information, the business can be done in the first place. On these grounds, the SAP system generates a message for each document. A message is a document in output format for communication to business partners. Message in printing context should not be confused with system message, for example, warning or error message in the status bar. If you click on the push button Messages in the application bar, you'll get to the output overview. This table shows one or more output types. Here it is, New Purchase Order Printout. You can also see the message transmission medium. You can specify, for example, that the output is printed out or that it is produced and sent by other means, such as electronic mail. While it is not necessary that you print out a text file from your personal computer at all, it is mandatory that a document in SAP has some kind of output which must be somehow get to the business partner. So, SAP creates messages for the output of documents. Let's talk about the processing of this output. If you want to print your personal text file, you only need to hit the print button and your printer starts printing. And you can print as often as you want, no matter whether you've changed the text file or not. In SAP, this is again quite different. If you create a document, it can be outputted automatically when saving it or manually. For manual output, a separate transaction, depending on the document, must be executed. You can recognize the status of processing on the output overview of the document. Here in this table, the first field in the row is about the status of the output. If the output has been processed successfully, the traffic light is set to green. If errors occur, it is set to red. Yellow means that the processing program has not been started yet. And if you change a document after the output, then you need a change output. Otherwise, your business partner would not be informed about the changes of the business. In essence, 
the processing of a document output is closely connected to the business process and the output status is recorded. With that, you're at the end of the video. Let's summarize the intricacies of printing a document in SAP. Selected data from a document are assigned to a form. The print preview within a document shows the formatted text on this form. For each document, the SAP system generates a document in output format, a so-called message. The output can be printed out or produced and sent by other transmission mediums such as email, for instance. Only after the output, the related business process is complete and a change in a document requires a corresponding change output. A traffic light on the output overview shows the status of processing for each message. That's all for this time and also enough for this section. Thank you for watching and bye!